So the bloodstained men, our mission is to uh, put an end to the violent attack on babies and children called circumcision. It's an unnecessary, damaging, painful, traumatic surgery that's being falsely promoted to parents as beneficial when it's actually harmful. No other country circumcises babies but the United States for medical reasons. The UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, they've all dropped it. And America is the last country to continue to do circumcisions of babies for uh, pseudo-medical reasons. So we tour the country, we visit about 60 cities a year, and we um, do street protests, and that's our primary activity, and the other activity is we're online on Facebook and other online forums uh, explaining to people why they need to leave their boy alone, not let anyone cut off part of his penis. You're welcome. A nurse stopped in her scrubs and, uh, and wanted to pose with me, with my blood stain, with a sign that says, how dare you cut his penis, because she has post-traumatic stress disorder from performing circumcisions on babies, and she hates to do them, but she's afraid to stand up to the hospitals and the parents, because it's ingrained in our culture that foreskin is unhealthy and dirty. A lot of people, because it was done to them, they think it's a good thing, just because of tradition. They just think it's whatever happened to me should be happen, should happen to my boy, but that's how all abuse continues. The, the abused child grows up often to become an abusing adult. So you have to break the cycle of abuse by educating people that this is not a good thing, it's a harmful thing to protect your boy. You need to say no 